facts to trill. Okay, okay. Trey six hundo. Three six double O. Trey six hundred with a niggas who run it. Hey man, say man, it's your boy Trey 600 Quinn TV. We're back again with another one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Shout out to the notification family. Salute to all my new subscribers and my day ones. I do this for y'all. Let's get it. All right. We got another one for y'all. We got OG Percy responding to TT Naughty getting locked up. You know what I'm saying? He had a, he had been taking him to court a few times. And if you don't know about these two, uh, TT Naughty, OG Percy, they definitely, um, they, they were beefing and they were cool. You know what I'm saying? They were beefing. And now, you know what I mean? They just, they cordial and, you know, they just speak up on however they feel about the situation. Well, OG Percy, he been taking him to court. And once he found out, you know, that he got locked up this time, he responded. And he wants to um, just break it down. So let's get to it, man. Let's see what's up. By like saying, I told y'all. I like to be the one that told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all that. I told y'all that that, that that was going to happen to you at that that that. Y'all already knew that, that 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 was going down. They knew that that that, that was going down on that nigga, man. That right there, y'all see that? Yeah, that. That that right there, that 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 just happened. That right there, that that right there, that there. They know that 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 happened to that nigga, man. That nigga out of there. That nigga out of there. He out of that 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 that. <laughs> Boy, ain't no luck. I try to tell y'all. Y'all gonna listen to my monitor. Shout out to my mom. Who I got here? Oh, and OG Percy, he definitely was saying that, hey, bro, you're going to end up getting locked up. You know, if you keep moving the way you're moving, you got to move better. Just leave the past behind. So he definitely he did. He was saying Oh, that. time in the building. God damn me. I know I just didn't see no motherfucking night. It's trying to sneak her motherfucking ass in here. A night, what do you mean? Girl, you know you're at the back of the goddamn me food chain. <laughs> Keep up with all shit I don't see. Um, but um, the shit that I do see is what I need to see. And I see that TTE Naughty thought he was going to get away with my daddy money. And I told your dumb ass. Cause daddy say he need you to pay him his money. I kept trying to tell you, cause you owe daddy his money. You try to run out with daddy money. Daddy already said he go. Now I didn't. I didn't know what he meant when he, he said that in the interview too. Um, that he ran off with his 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 father's money. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't even get what he was saying. And no, no. This time you don't get no old man free teach. No, no. You ran out with the man, but no. I told you my dad was gonna get his money out of you, nigga. You thought you go, cause. I don't know why this nigga didn't listen to me. I'm sitting there waving a whole motherfucking flag in front of this nigga face, telling him what to do. Man, just pay daddy's money back, man. Change your way of talking. Change your way of living. Change. Try to show him that you're trying to change something. Because once that devil get on your back, once that devil get on your back, he's going to make you do some things that, you know, you're going you gonna, to you gonna owe daddy You gonna owe daddy double. You're going to owe daddy double, you know. Once um, yeah, you know, once you once you flip the game, flip flop the game, take out running with daddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let, me, let me let me let me get myself together right quick, yeah. Hold on, get myself together right quick. This ain't court because court is over, nigga. This is checkmate. This is what we playing today. It's checkmate. Okay, so he's he not taking him to court. He said he's taking him. He this is checkmate. This is this is the end. Hopefully, hopefully not, man. Hopefully not, man. But I hear you. When you play this game right here, you gotta know how to play these games. Oh shit, my bad it fell off. Right, damn, it rolled off again. Damn. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe if I just pull them all down, just make them all roll off. Let me see what all of them roll off. Oh, oh. Damn, nobody move. 
Nobody get hurt. Hold on, let me see this one. Huh? Huh? Guess don't nobody roll. All my niggas are stand up pieces. All of them stand up pieces, nigga. All of them stand up pieces, nigga. Hello. Yeah. See. Oh shit. Thought I lost somebody. Now everybody's still where they're supposed to be in place. That's one thing about this game of chess right here, nigga. Yeah. Fuck y'all there. Nobody knows. Nobody get <laughs> nobody move. Nobody get. I know that's right. <laughs> Who said that? That was a good one. Nobody move, nobody gets hurt. You you goddamn right. But you know the cold thing about it, when you do move, think about the move you finna make before you make it. You just don't make a move. You need to make before you make a move. And, it's, and that's that's crazy because that's what he's been saying. Like you gotta, you know, gotta be ten steps ahead of the game. He was telling them that whole time. Like you gotta think about what you're doing before you do it. And it's all just like chess. When you pull out that chess board, man, he breaking down. This game, you need to find out where the fuck you're going, why you're going there, and what you're moving there for. And do you got any protection on you just in case something happened to the person? You be able to protect the person in the street. See, let me tell y'all about this game, bro. This game right here ain't for all niggas to play because niggas ain't think like this. When I found out that this was one of the white folks' game, and that's how the white folks think here, I couldn't read in school. I wasn't a highly educated man in school, but uh, it didn't have nothing to do with my thinking. I knew one thing. I can play dominoes. Shit, I can win a game of Uno. I knew how to play games, so I wanted to learn this one. And then I looked at it. I said, nah, this shit look like it's too hard to play. I ain't gonna, I don't know what none of that shit mean. I don't know how, man. I don't know how to start off. I don't know, man. I mean, nothing. But let me break. Hey, I be thinking I play chess, but I don't even know how to play chess. That's crazy. I, I gotta, I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna get OG to tell me how to play chess, man. Cause you know, I gotta get my chess game up. This real. game down to a lot of y'all. This is the game of life. Look at it like this. I call these the streets. I didn't learn this game like the white folks teach everybody else. This is the rook and make these movies your most powerful piece on the way. No, I didn't learn it that that. Let me show y'all how I played. I learned this game. I learned this game like this. This right here is the streets. This right here is the pawn. That's one of your little homies in the streets. They call him a pawn. He one of the, you know, one of the pieces that, you know, one of the weakest pieces on the board. You know, he just on the front line. The pole pawn, this right here, this man right here. This the man on the front line, you know. Uh, you got the knights right here. You got you know, the bishop. You got the castles, the knights, the bishops, uh, the king, the queen. Yeah, you know. And they say, you know, me myself, I, I use, you know, my knight. My knight is a, is, a, is a good piece right here. My knight. I know how to ride this motherfucking horse like I'm in from Fort Worth, Texas, nigga. I make this motherfucker gallop all over your motherfucking ass. And don't let me run both of them down there. I make this motherfucking horse run over everybody in your motherfucking front yard. You, you run him out there, I'm a run over nigga with my horse. But anyway, I can't tell you all this whole game in one, but I can give you a piece of the game one step at a time. And the game is the little pawn. We're going to put the little pawn right here. We're going to let him be, we're going to let the little pawn be the story today. The two little pawns. There's the two little pawns right here. The little weakest pieces on the board, these, these are the ones that lose their life first out of everything. But let me tell y'all something about these two homies right here. These are the streets. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little homies to protect, which is the little pawns. Now, let me tell y'all the good thing about a little pawn. If you can get your little homeboy to get through school, get through the streets, uh, get through college, get him on down the road, make him grow up, and get him down to the end, guess what? If you can get him all the way down here to the end, guess what? He can become anything you make him to be. Man, hey, you see how you breaking it down, man. It's real crazy. Like, that's that's a real good analogy, man. If you put in the work with somebody, man, and, you know, they go through the bottom all the way through the top, then, you know, they definitely they can be what they want to be, man. And like I said, this is OG Percy. He's reacting to T.T. Naughty, you know what I'm saying, being locked up. And he gave a whole lot of jewels, man, a whole lot of jewels. Uh, he's 
he definitely called him. He told him, you know, if you move that way, the way you move in that, you know, you can, that is a possibility, you know, because like OG Percy, he been through it himself. You know, you got to have your mind made up that you ain't trying to, you, and you, you got to be willing to just, you know, let go of the past, you know, and, and keep on moving forward. So if you want to see this whole video, go to OG Percy, you know what I mean? Percy Demerson on YouTube. You know, I said I had a link in there and it's a whole lot of him breaking the whole situation down. It's just a reaction. You know, I'm going to be giving you all some reactions. You know what I'm saying? We, of course, we bring the interviews, but, you know, this is crazy, man. But, you know, the story you know, of T.T. Naughty, it's, it is still to be continued. You know, if any updates, you know, I definitely let y'all know. And, you know, definitely the reaction that people have on this situation will let y'all know. It's your boy Tracy Sundog Quinn TV. Let's get to the content. Like, comment, subscribe. Might as well. Yes, sir. Y'all know what it is. Coalition DJ Fang out here on 6th Street. Yes, My brother, Trey Six Hundo. Win TV. I love you, brother. Keep doing your motherfucking thing, man. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Trey Six Hundo. Trey Six Hundo. Hey, this the drop right here. If you ain't with it, you getting dropped, baby. Get with it before you get left behind, baby. Yes, sir. Hey. Yeah. What's going down, baby? It's Black Smooth the Barber behind every legend. It's a great barber. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Mr. Mike, don't trust you in the building. I ain't got no legend with me right now, except Black Smooth the Barber, but we rocking with Trey Six Hundo. Trey Six Hundo! Trey Six Hundo! Hundo. Yes! Yeah. What's up? It's your boy OGT Will. You know, folks the town finders, man. Y'all subscribe to my channel, T Will 817. I heard with Trey C's hunt done, man. Y'all subscribe to him too, you hear me? Where the content is always high, baby. Yeah.